I am involved with orientation advising, uh, Texas Lone Stars, liberal arts honors program, and um, I'm in, I have an internship uh, right now. And my disability, okay, so what I have, my disability is called diastrophic dysplasia. And it's what I have, hitchhiker uh, thumb, hand, uh, the high pitched voice, um, um, scoliosis, I have club feet, and obviously I'm tiny. <laughs> I also wear braces on my feet when I walk with shoes on. Um, I can walk. Some of my friends and I will go to Clark Field, which is like around here, and we will like, they'll walk with me. They'll, they'll actually crab walk while I walk. So that's really nice of them to do. Uh, they encourage me a lot. They push me to my limits and that's literally what I need. Like, that's what I need. I was bullied up until second grade, um, but looking back on it, it's, it's helped me a lot. Uh, after second grade, everybody was very friendly. I'm not sure how that shift happened, but it was it was nice. Um, gr so growing up with my disability, uh, it wasn't it wasn't awful. It was actually it was nice because I guess I learned to like deal with what I had, and I just went about doing the same things other kids did in a different way. But I still I, I had a good time. So one of the challenges that I face here is um, there are various doors throughout campus. The buttons, like the accessibility or mobility, those buttons you press to, for the doors to open, um, some of them don't work. Sometimes I'm not always with someone for them to open the door. And so like, I have to find a way and kind of like discover the building to find another entrance but sometimes I'll wait for somebody to pass by and I'll just be like, hey, would you mind helping me? And they're like, oh yeah, for sure. And they'll open the door. I do want to be an advocate for other students who are also disabled in any way or form um, so they don't have to struggle as much. Um, I am on wheels, so it's still kind of a, like an advantage compared to others. So like, I want to be able to like, speak up and like, help them somehow uh, and let let those who are in charge of these things like here's the problem and it's okay like they just don't know because it's not part of their day-to-day -day, you know routine which is like it's totally okay but I want to bring it to like into light I guess and really all goes back to all my friends that I have um, they're really supportive uh, understanding and they're they're always there um, it's nice to know that I have a community of friends here, um, of supporters, and it's, I think that's my favorite part because from there, I get to like grow because I have people that are understanding and they support me and they hang out with me and they take the time to figure stuff out like the ramps or whatnot. They take the time to be there and that's, I think that's really my favorite part here.